Hello, um, so I have a bunch of stuff that I got from a meetup. Um, some of it I ordered, some of it I got for free. If you happen to hear typing in the background or clicking, it's my my husband is playing a game on his computer. Um, but yeah, I was in an event from the um, Patreon of Emily Harvey Art. She had her first in-person meetup and event and it was incredible. And I have stuff that I ordered from people that brought they brought it to the event. I also have freebies and things that came in goodie bags. I thought I would do a little segment for my um, vlog just to show kind of everything that I got and have a little chat. Um, so first off, for the actual event, Emily did a goodie bag. So Emily is um, Emily from the Patreon I am a part of, Emily Harvey Art. I joined in 2020, so I've been a Patreon for a very long time. Um, it is a small business community lots and lots of support incredible community if you're looking for a community where you um are supported as a small business and you find lots of friends it's a great place to be i don't know how many times i'm going to say community in this video but <laughs> here we are um i actually have another version of this sticker so emily did a sticker like this a couple of years ago um but it was a different um illustration of herself in it and i have it on my laptop it's over here um but it's a different illustration of her so this is the updated version so i'm happy to have this now i need to decide where i'm going to put it so it's really cool to get the updated version um so yeah part of the goodie bag you got a bunch of the stuff so i got this little sticker we got the eHearts meetup um notepad which is awesome i love a notepad this is great i love to have one of these types of notepads to the side on my desk um just to scribble and write notes different things that I have ideas for, things I need to remember. So I've got a couple, but it's always good to have more. Um, so this is the notepad. And then we got a keychain, which says EH, which is Emily Harvey. Um, this was made by another person in the community called Kaz, who is Catastrophic Kaz, I think, on Instagram. I will have everything linked below, but Kaz has a um, laser cutter machine, so. She was able to make keychains, which is awesome, so I'm going to attach that to my keychain. We also have another member of the community who made these, and I cannot get over the quality of these. I cannot believe these were handmade by somebody and not made by some machine or something. It, it's wild. So basically they're like little mini hardback um, post-it note holders. So Kelly's Creations. This is Kelly. Kelly ran the bingo for the event which was so much fun. It was incredible. She did amazing. So she made these little handmade um, memo pad, like hardback memo pad books. I, honestly, I cannot express enough how incredible these are. If you have the chance to order from Kelly's shop, you're gonna get some real quality stuff. So this is super cool and super cute and I love it. So this was made by Kelly. We also got a free sticker by um, Colette. Colette is somebody I have some more bits from here in the corner so I'll show you those in a second. But the super cute sticker was from Colette. So we have a bookmark from the lovely Katie. Katie came all the way from Georgia. She had a whole trip planned with her daughter which was incredible and it was really nice to meet her at the event. So she made a bookmark says eHearts 2024 and then butterflies on the back. Sorry, it's kind of coming out of focus. This is one of those things where it's focusing on the background. There we go. So butterflies and then e-hearts in all different colors. So super pretty bookmark from Kitty, Kitty Cannon Designs. I will link as well. Then as a part of the thing, um, Emily has this little kind of postcard print, which has all the kind of items and things that kind of represent the community. Friends, support, love, passion, creative. Um, blank on the back. So it's a little postcard I'll probably put on my wall. Um, we have the rundown of the event. So this is everything that happened. So we had um, a little kind of section to say what the event was about. And then during the event we had calligraphy with Sandra. So it's Kamwanya Designs. Bingo with Kelly. So it's who made the um, little bingo things. And then we had raffles and awards which just was 
the best and funniest situation. If you want to have a look at the event, I will also link Emily's video. She had a vlog for the event, so Sandra, who did the calligraphy, took over the, the vlog for Emily to kind of have a little snapshot. So Emily made a vlog out of all the footage that Sandra captured, and it was lovely. So yeah, then we had raffle and awards, and yeah, it was it was just an amazing day. Um, then we also had this little like flyer print. It's like a a kind of flyer about Emily, but on the other side you get this little print. So this is a kind of Taylor Swift inspired mermaid print, I'm pretty sure. I'll probably give this to my sister slash niece because they're super into Taylor Swift. I, I like her too, but I think they would appreciate the print more than I would. Um, so there's that. And then I have my raffle ticket and also a little tiny, like there was little sprinkly things on the um, table. And I picked one of these up because I thought I could put this in my journal as a little, like, a token of um, the event. And then there's my, my bingo card. We got to, like, basically the way the bingo worked was you filled in, there was a giant list of words that represented Emily's Patreon community and you got to pick out your words and put them in. So it was very fun. And it was very funny how um, competitive everybody got. <laughs> And then this was the practice sheet that we did with Sandra from Kamonya Designs because Sandra is a calligrapher and does amazing calligraphy and can teach it very well. So this was the practice sheet, which was very fun. So yeah, that was basically everything from the actual event. Um, going back to Colette, Colette gave me these little like bundles. I don't have them with me right now but Colette also made these little tiny little crochet alien creatures. I'm gonna insert pictures here to the side because they were so so super cute but my um, my toddler has them so they are somewhere downstairs and um, I will put a picture of them but they were super adorable. Colette does some really nice crochet items. Um, also um, she gave me these little bundles so we got some badges so we've got these cool little illustrations and items um, in badge format. Um, coincidentally enough, this was in my badge pack and I am a cancer sign and she said that these were all completely random so this was not organised. <laughs> so it was a really funny um, coincidence that I managed to get the badge for the star sign and I am so that's super cool. Always leave them wanting more, that's the secret. <sighs> Um, we also got some oop stickers, which I actually have not opened yet, so let's open them together. Oh, I don't like it when I rip the sticker. Oh. Let's see what is in here. Oh, there seem to be some of the same similar kind of sketches and drawings. We've got flamingo, a mushroom. I think this is like a little science -y type one. I can't remember the name. Um, it's a cute dinosaur, a little milkshake, and another dinosaur. These are super cute. I feel like some of my, my I feel like some of the dinosaur ones my toddler might try to steal on me. <laughs> but they're really cute. So thank you to Colette for those. Oh, and this is a magnet from Ouija Art Studio. This is from Jenny. She made these little, this ghost is called Nigel and it's like her little character who um, she makes like, she's got stickers, I think she's got stickers and coasters and all sorts of art based on Nigel and she was so lovely and made like the background in my colours which is just the sweetest thing. Um, I don't have a fridge that has magnet kind of backing because it's inside like a wooden cupboard but I have a little magnetized um, whiteboard in my office so that is where this little cute cozy Nigel is displayed so it's really pretty and um, so if you're looking for anything like this there's coaches as well you can check out and um, Jenny she does amazing watercolors as well incredible watercolor artist moving on we have Sandra you can see this is Sandra's lovely calligraphy and then there's my attempts at writing my name, Sandra's name, and my husband's name. <laughs> this is my test run of the, the event. So that was my, my stuff. And then Sandra, I ordered from, and she also gave me extras. So I ordered some stickers from Sandra. Let's see if I can get them opened up. 
And bookmark, a bookmark as well, I think. So we got the bookmark. This is like the anime version of Sandra. This is her own like portrait anyway, which is super cute. So a little bookmark because I'm super into my reading again. So I've got that from Sandra. I also have the little sticker version. I wanted to start using more characters in my journal because I would like to make my own and use my own, but to start with I would like to start using other people's to test run um, using them in my journal. So I've got lots of really amazing characters from Sandra. Uh, we also have a very cute coffee cup, so very, very Sandra colours there. So these are super cute, lots of different sizes and colours for me to use. And then Sandra, being sneaky, added in her most recent zine. So this is the If Turquoise or Sepia zine, illustrated. Um, Travel Tober from 2023. So you've got all the kind of bits and pieces and reasons behind it, but you can see like a lot of the imagery in um, Sandra's Instagram. I'm not gonna show everything, but it is super nice. So if you wanna check that out, I will link Sandra below as well. <laughs> final bit is items from Meg from Fizz and Flourish. I love Meg's stuff so much and I already have some of her sticker sheets. She has recently changed to being manufactured sticker sheets and the quality is incredible. Her shop isn't currently open but she does have a Kickstarter that is launching on I think it's the 1st of May. I will confirm and put um, a note here on the side as well and link to her socials and whatnot whenever I put this video up but the quality of these sticker sheets is incredible the colors are beautiful the quality is amazing and I cannot wait for her, her Kickstarter even before I went to the event before I knew I was going to get these I was saying I was like slowly running out of her sticker sheets and I was savoring them because I didn't want them to run out so I'm super excited for her Kickstarter I think there's sticker sheets I think there might be lots of other little bits added in. I'm not going to say anything more because I don't know what is secret and what is surprise. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, these are for sure the, the sticker sheet kind of quality I think that will be happening from the Kickstarter. Incredible. Also, lots of more goodies. I was absolutely spoiled. I got two little bookmarks from Meg and they're again adorable and again really into my my reading right now so it's been nice to get a few more i got some die cut stickers we got some sushi stickers and these ones and then the little daisies some more sushi and the lemon and then i ran out of my shopping list recently so it was like she knew what was coming. So I have new shopping lists. I think this one is the very first one, the orange one, is the very first shopping list I ever got. And then I got shopping list from Kat from Kitty Creates Rainbows. So now I'm back to having some some um, Meg ones, which is great because I literally just run out. So this saves me from having to get any more for a while. Um, I also got a print. Oh, wrong way around. And then on the other side, it's like a Patreon. I think this was a, yeah, I think this is one of the Patreon goodie boxes that she used to do. Super pretty print. I'm gonna put that up on my wall in front of me, I think, after I finish this video. And then I also got some more notepads. This is the kind of first thing, morning, afternoon, evening notes. So it's kind of like a daily one to use for kind of getting your, like sectioning off your days, which is great. Cause I feel like having a task for each part of the, the day is good instead of overwhelming yourself with a massive to-do list. And then this one, the Sleepy Scribbles. I love this because I have the most insane dreams. They're just wild. So having this beside my bed would be really handy because then I could scribble down everything that happens because I don't always remember. So this would be very handy. So yeah, that is everything. I will link everybody below. Um, I know some people have Instagrams, websites, YouTube, so I'll link as much as I can. The event was wonderful. Everything was amazing. Um, and I loved meeting everybody in person. It was so nice to meet people that I've known for years online in person. And it was just as comfortable in person as it was online and everybody was just themselves. So it was, it was a great event. And I'm very glad that I 
took the opportunity to go and be a part of it. So yeah, it was great.